ever since I got back into Adventure Time, I've been wanting to talk about it again, and thankfully there's actually been new episodes, so I'm going to talk about the episodes that aired uh, tonight, um, and uh, just give my thoughts on the, on the uh, episodes, just like a quick thoughts video like I've done before in the past on previous bombs of stuff like Steven Universe and other things. It is kind of weird that Cartoon Network is deciding to do these bombs on one night instead of just like doing it throughout a week. Um, I find that kind of weird, because uh, I'm not sure when they're going to be airing these episodes again, or if they will ever. But it was still nice to see the network air the show for once. So I'm just going to quickly go over each episode and what I thought of it. The first one is The Wild Hunt, and it's about this monster capturing the banana guards, and Finn can't kill it because he keeps seeing Fern. So Finn has this guilty conscience and he can't really slay anything, and then he meets up with Huntress Wizard, and a uh, Huntress Wizard sort of helps him, uh, I guess, overcome that guilt. And we get a bit of romance between Huntress Wizard and Finn, so that might actually be Endgame since there's uh, not that many episodes left, so Finn might actually end up with Huntress Wizard. And at the end of the episode, we see a glimpse of Uncle Gumbald, who Princess Bubblegum has talked about before. And we did see a glimpse of him at the end of uh, Three Buckets. And from the rest of the episodes in this bomb, it seems like Gumbald is going to be sort of the villain for this season. In the next episode, Always Bemo Closing, it's about Bemo and the Ice King uh, teaming up, going door to door, uh, being a salesman, I guess. At first, I thought it was just going to be a silly Bemo episode, which um, I'm fine with those. Uh, but at uh, near the end, we actually see them go to Gumbald's lair. And Bemo kind of messes up by selling Finn's baby teeth to Gumbald. It seems like he's a legitimate threat because he was about to axe Bemo and the Ice King before Bemo mentioned that he had Finn's baby teeth. Third was a less serious episode with Son of Rat Bear. We actually get to see a bit of spotlight on Flame Princess again, though I didn't expect Toronto to show up, and he scams Flame Princess into doing a rap battle with Son of Rat Bear for the Fire Kingdom. It was mostly just a fun episode and some uh, cool little raps that they do, and there's a line that actually made me laugh out loud where uh, uh, Rat Bear actually said, My son, he wrapped my legs off. I don't know why, but that line and visual was just very funny to me. Then in the fourth episode, and probably the most important for story, is Bonnabelle Bubblegum. Princess Bubblegum tells her story about uh, her family and how they came to be. And we learn that unlike Bonnie and Nettie, who came from the Mother Yum, that Gumbald and a couple of her other relatives were created by her, and somehow went rogue, though mainly Gumbald. And Gumbald wanted to use this dum dum juice on Bonnabelle so that way he could have control. And he also used it on uh, the other relatives, and they turned into Crunchy and Manfred. And then the rest of the juice fell on him and turned him into the Punch Bowl. So that's a very odd origin for those uh, characters. Though I guess Gumbald is back now because of the events of Elements. Like how Jake came back as his shapeshifter self. So I guess the same thing happened to Gumbald. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens for the rest of the season. There's only like 12 episodes left, which is uh, very unfortunate because it seems like there could be a lot more. It looks like Gumbald is going to be the main villain for this season, but I'm hoping that somehow we'll end up getting to Galb at some point. There's only 12 episodes left, so I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but uh, hopefully they do. I'm going to try to watch Adventure Time as much as I can just so I can give it some ratings. I'm not sure if that'll help any, but I'll just spread the word when it is on. Even if they are reruns, because I barely see any reruns. There was actually a rerun before the new episodes with Bad Jubies, the stop motion episode. But who knows when the next new episodes are coming out. We'll just have to wait. So if you've seen the new Adventure Time episodes, tell me down in the comments what you thought, and I'll see you next time. Bye!